very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. I like what you're doing. It's great. Get right in there and. See all the lovely ingredients, mussels, potato, and crab. And a little bit of coconut. And you'll have to find out from them how the taste is, because I'm biased. I think it's great. <laughs> We have before us uh, Chef John Howie in Seattle. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm excellent. Uh, now, I know you're getting ready for a number of things. You've got James Beard going on in New York. You've got the Super Bowl again this year. Uh, but before we get there, I understand uh, you've got a gig today that we're working at. And uh, tell us a little bit about this. Well, this is what we call Stone Soup. And it's something that we started last year to try and help support Food Lifeline. Food Lifeline is Seattle's local food bank, uh, kind of their warehouse, and they provide food to all the food banks throughout the Western Washington. I see. And how long have you been involved with this endeavor? Well, we started Stone Soup last year. We kind of changed it this year. Last year we just had people bring food and they were able to get a cup of soup when they did that. And this year what we've done is we decided to charge for my award-winning chowder, which just won the International Chowder Championship in Prince Edward Island. Wow. And so we're charging $10 a cup for that. Okay. The full $10 goes to Food Life One. I've had the pleasure of enjoying Seattle chef John Howie's uh, seafood now for a couple of weeks, and I can best describe it as eclectic yet sincere. That's his menu, and that's how he operates as a person that I can see. It's easy to get caught up in the fine food and all the events that are going on. He's always busy with the James Beard Foundation every year. He's got uh, his book is out, and he's busy doing those things, but he never forgets how to treat his employees, and it's his spirit that he engenders that makes me give him a thumbs up because he realizes it's more than just money and profits. You want to do something a little bit different. Yeah. So we had uh, some different ingredients, like I was talking about, the coconut curry, the, the curry paste, the Thai fish sauce, which really added a complexity of flavors to the chowder, which is why I think it helped it win. And uh, understand you were uh, working on something for Thanksgiving as well for to benefit the needy? Well, actually, Thanksgiving, two days ago, we served 472 low-income people at our restaurant in Bellevue. And we had uh, 472 guests there. They had a three-course meal, sit-down. It's a wonderful experience for them, and that was our ninth year of doing that. So we're we're thrilled to be a, a part and being able to do that every year. It's just a wonderful experience.
know, how'd you get involved with this? Uh, me and John have been doing the Taste of the NFL event for the Seahawks for a few years now, so this is just ramping up to a big uh, event in New Orleans. All right, well, good luck with it. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Chris King. Awesome. Very yeah. cool. Thank you. Yeah. There's one bite left. 